Hello kitu designers and welcome on to this story. My name is Peter. Head on to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add this elemental glass effect. All glass morphism. We're just going to use elemental profilers to be able to achieve all this. To achieve all this. You can see how it looks like. We're just going to create us just more uh, this login form. And I'm going to show you how we can be able to achieve uh, the glass effect on our form. Cloud, you can just see how it looks like to just look amazing. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I show you how. So the first thing you just need to do is you go to the page where you just want to create a so the first thing you just need to do is you have the fonts. So let me add a void here or a spacer. I want to add some more space here. So from here, now we need to add the one section that we just are going to use for this tutorial. The other thing, remember, we have the outer outer section and we have the inner section. This inner section is the one that we're going to apply the effect. So the first thing, the other thing you just need to do is you come here and you just drag the inner section. We need to add the inner section, the one will be applied the effect. So I just delete this one because I just won't need one section here. So from there, I just go from to the outer section and I just press, uh, I just select here a width of 600 like that and from there i just go outside here uh, on the outer section and i go to style and i need to add an image so i just click uh the background type and we have uh, we have the image if you don't have the image you can upload you can go to the media library depending on if you have them and you can go to the free image they have so many free images that you can just get uh, so you have the safe, say, uh, safe search, you can also search from there, from here, but I have, I think I have one that I want to use. I will still use this one, the one I had here. And now with that, now we have uh, to set some few here. I just press center, center, and I also want to say no repeat, and I say it's cover the size is cover here so from there now we need to set to add this from here so I just come here and i search for form i just drag depending on how you just want to customize it you can have it the way you want it you can see how it look like now we need to customize some few things here and there for us to be able to feel uh, to do everything so I just select the inner section here and i go to the style and I just want to add a background which is white like that. And then I want to add transparent like that. Let me have it like that. You see how it look like. Then the other thing now we need now to set up is the width here and there. You can see the space in between here and there. So you just need to go to uh, advance, select the inner section and go to advance and add a button, just a link here and add a padding of top is which you just want to add 80. Let me not uh, use the inner section here. Let me select the outer section and I go to advance and I set the top here is 80 like that and the bottom here is 80 depending on the section. If there are then there's no space you can add something like 40 here and you can also add something like 40 like that we have something looking good for now so the other thing you just need to do is you customize the edge here and there so what you need to go to the style uh, select the inner section here go to style and on style we have now the border and the border i want to have something like 30 like that so let's see how it look you can see it's just almost the same so from there, now we just need to, uh, you can add, you can customize it to your titles here and there. Let's just customize here. So just go to uh, to the style. I want to just select the form and I go to field. And I want to have topography here. Let me just go to topography and I want to select monster like that. And I want to have here something like 18 like that. So I just selected the field too. Now the field is, uh, I just go to form, yeah, and I select the label, yeah, it's supposed to be labels. I just select the color to be black, like that, and I also want to add a mount slot as my front, and I also add here to about something like 15, like that, 
or 18 and add some weight here to about 900 like that you can customize the way you want uh figure out here and there so from there i just need to just add some shadows here and there so i just select the in outer section here uh inner section and when i just go to inner section i select border here and i just yeah i just select border and i just select box uh, shadow and i select here something like 20 and i also select here something like 10 the front you can see you have some shadow here and we are i want to add some bra at 20 like that you can see you can also use something like 15 depending on how you just want to have it or the background the one you have so from there now we just need to set up this bra effect here so what I just need to do is I just select the intersection. I go to advanced and I select custom CSS and I like, I have included it in the, I, I have included the link on the description where you can get the, uh, the CSS. So I just go, I just come, come here and I copy just this one here, paste it that you can see we have now the bra effect you can customize your form so that it can be visible you can customize even the button and all that you just need to do is go to the button and you can see yeah the background color i want to have something like black like that you can customize to have it working good for you and if you want to customize all these buttons here and you can set up the uh the radius to something like 50 and when i just come back here uh for the field you can just go to the border radius and you set up them like 50 like that you can customize it to have something good and working for you but but that's how you can be able to add the bra effect using the css you can adjust the for you to if you see this much uh much higher for you you can adjust the css so you just come and select the intersection and good custom CSS and come here and if you can add something like three or if you want uh, for it to be much much concentrated you can add something like 20 and you can see how it look like but I think something like three will work good for you or uh, for me so I think that's good for me so I can also go here and I add go to advance and I add some more padding here something like 20 and i also want to add something like 20 on the bottom like that you can also go to light and add something like 10 and to the left and yeah it will it will look good but let's see how but that's how it looked like we have been able to add the glass effect to our form or that that was just so easy for us so hope you did learn something out of this tutorial if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up Remember to subscribe if you're new here. Till next time, thank you.